Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with exercise 3B of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on the final question, number 4, on page 77, and it reads, A projectile is fired up a hill with speed 10 meters per second at an angle 75 degrees to the horizontal. The hill is inclined at an angle 45 degrees to the horizontal. So the first thing we need to do is sketch the motion. So I'm going to draw the incline first. And I'm going to then draw the xy plane. So I'm going to draw it over here. Now don't ask why I drew it like that. You'll find, you'll see in a moment. And uh, I can tell you for a fact, I didn't draw them like that straight out. I had to think about it. Anyway, so we know that it's inclined at an angle of 45 degrees. And we're next we know that, the, that u is projected at an angle 75 to the horizontal. So we can't just draw the velocity like this because that will be re with reference to the incline. So what I do is I draw a horizontal and I put my velocity vector up there at 75. And we know of course that where we have well, kind of a z shape the angles either side are equal. So this one's equal like this. And from here we need I suppose to think about it. What we want is the vector u with reference to the incline, not reference to the x-axis. So what we need to do is find out somehow at what angle it is uh, at what angle it is um, it is projected at. All right. So think about this. U is a vector. So if I move it here, draw my in my. There's my horizontal. We know this is forty-five. Now this is 75. So what we're left with is 30 in the middle. All right? And that's the angle which the vector is projected with reference to the incline. All right? Now, we need to resolve this. So, first thing we need to do is create our new plane, our x prime, y prime plane. And how to do this is, I said, create your x prime on the, on the incline and your y prime perpendicular to it. So, x prime is positive that direction. Now, we need to resolve our u vector into the two component unit vectors which are parallel to the x prime, y prime plane and which, when added together, give u. So here's the first one, and here's the second one. This is u sub y and u sub x. Notice, of course, u sub x is positive because it's in the positive x prime direction, and u sub y is also positive for the same reason. So let's resolve those in a way we're well used to. And note these down here. So we know what u is because it's equal to 10. So this becomes 8.6 and this becomes 5. All right? And that, that's, our, that's our velocity vector resolved. The next thing we need to do is our gravity vector. So if we draw our x prime, y prime plane like this, Actually, that's a bit big. We don't need it to be that big. And we draw our x, y plane like this. So this is y, this is x, this is... That's not correct. Just there for reference. All right? What way does gravity go? Gravity goes straight down in the negative y direction. So we need to resolve this in the x prime, y prime plane. And I've told you how to do this before. We start at the base of G and we draw parallel to the Y until we're able to draw parallel to the X. We draw our arrows such that, like that, so we need, that's how you'd add to get G. This is G sub Y and this is G sub X. Now, we also need to know what the angle is. Now we said, of course, that if we project, if, if we, if, let me pick up x, let me pick up the x prime direction. Now of course if you had a large diagram, you'd see this straight away. So let me draw it again as we had, 
think now. There's the X prime, Y prime plane again. If I extend down like this, I'm crossing the X axis at 90 degrees, and I know the X axis is at 45. All right, so that means this angle up here is at 45 too. All right, that's we've done that three or four times now at this stage. You should be getting used to it. If not, just post a comment, and I'll do it very slowly probably on a separate video. So that means we have uh, we have G cos 45, no we yeah cos 45 because it's the adjacent and G sine 45. Now once again we need to remember what's happening here. Both of them are negative because this one is in the negative x prime direction and so is this so we can leave these as positive at that, for that, at like that. So we have 10 cos 45 and 10 sine 45 so or not, well, 9.8 we'll say. So we have 9.8. Just a point, by the way, the cos of 45 is equal to root 2 over root 2. So 1 over root 2, shall we say. And so is the sine of 45. They're the same. So multiply both by 9.81, we're going to get the same number here, 6.93. So, of course, it's minus 6.93 for both. Like that. So we need to finish off this, and we'll do it very quickly. We know that V is equal to U plus AT, so it's equal to 8.6 minus 6.93 T, and it's equal to 5 minus 6.93 T. This is equal to UT plus a half AT squared, so 8.6 T minus half 6.93 t squared and 5 t minus a half 6.93 t squared all right so I'm just going to check the answer to this at the back of the book so we have five what's five or three just one moment, this, the answer is in third form. 8.6, yeah. So that's the, that's the correct answer. Yeah, that is the correct answer. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.